Um, Steph's joined us again because we're going to be talking about uh, Sir Terry Leahy. Of course, he was at uh, Tesco for 14 years, turned it into Britain's biggest retailer. And you've been talking to him, picking his brains on the economy, Steph. Yes, a uh, really interesting man to talk to because, of course, during his time as the boss of Tesco, he massively expanded the business. So mm -hmm. it went from having a 20% share of the market here to a 30% share, making it the, the biggest retailer in the country. Also, he expanded it rapidly abroad as mm -hmm. well. Um, he's famous for bringing in the club cards, which of course helped the firm to kind of monitor what people were buying. So mm -hmm. he's, he's kind of made a big difference in the retail sector. Uh, now he's involved in, in various other businesses and he's let Tesco go a couple of years ago, but he's still got a lot to say on the economy, particularly on business rates and minimum wage and things like that. So I caught up with him at uh, the Liverpool docks where it was uh, the, where he's introducing the start of the International Festival for Business. So we had a quick chat about that. It's a really important and exciting uh, national event for business and it's wonderful that it's being hosted uh, by Liverpool. Liverpool in their popular perception in the UK for many years was associated frankly with decline. It really marks uh, a line that says the future is going to be very different than the past and it's actually much more exciting. What's your feeling about how the economy is at the moment compared to the years you've worked in it? Well I'm an optimist, it is recovering, uh, it's been through a terrible time but also a huge energy spike that hit consumers really hard. We've coped pretty well, um, I, I think the government has gone in the right direction. Uh, we have to rebalance the economy. How do you think we do that? How do you think we rebalance the economy? How do we get more exports growing? In some senses it's a state of mind. Uh, when I took over as chief executive of Tesco in 1997, Tesco had no business outside the UK to speak of. I'm involved a lot in a lot of very good British startups. These companies are doing half their business internationally within a few years of startup. It's a fantastic thing. With your retail experience, do you think business rates, the system at the moment works or do you think it does need to change? No, the business rate system doesn't work and hasn't worked for years. It's, it's, it's an ancient tax uh, based on the value of physical buildings and in a modern digital economy, the economy works in a completely different way. I'd start again and if you've got to have a business tax as such, make sure it goes across all businesses. In the roles you've had, you've, you've been a big employer uh, and there's talk about putting the minimum wage up. Do you think that's a, a good thing for business? Well, I think the minimum wage has been good for society. Um, I think the, the risk with the minimum wage is, is that you don't move it forward too quickly. If you move it too quickly, too artificially, you start to compress wage levels, uh, you start to distort the labour market and you can actually uh, lose jobs. You're chairman of B&M. Um, is it your plan to make them as big as Tesco? As I say, I never had plans like that at Tesco. All you can do is try to serve ordinary customers, uh, put something out there that's useful to them in their busy lives. They'll come and shop with you. If you do it well, you'll grow. Uh, and then who knows what the future brings. So interesting I thought when I was talking to him is how passionate he is about business rates because we've mm -hmm. talked a lot um, about how businesses are very unhappy about it it's one of the most common things they talk to me about when I'm traveling around the country and he's he's saying as many do that you know businesses now it's not just about the value of their property which is what businesses rates are based on mm -hmm. it is about how it's doing and the fact they're online and and uh, now have lots of different ways of doing their business so it'd be interesting to see kind of what happens in the future with that given people like him are so vocal about it being rubbish and, and needing to be started Recalibrated, again. Recalibrated, yeah. All right, Steph, thanks very much indeed. See you a bit later on.